Everything in Delta V, from space travel to combat, is determined by real-world physics. Here are 20 things you probably didn't know about rings of Settle. The reaction control system of your ship is powered by a nuclear reactor. Its exhaust is hot enough to melt asteroids and powerful enough to move them away. The nuggets you collect are still simulated in your cargo bay. They bounce around as you move the ship, affecting flight characteristics and can be ejected if you reverse. The visual feed shows a telescopic view from Enceladus Prime Station. You can spot flashes caused by your engines, delayed by light lag. Ships in space will move with a constant velocity unless ejecting propellant. The change of velocity a ship can achieve that way is called delta V. Saturn's rings are the only place in our solar system that actually looks like the asteroid belt from popular science fiction movies. A nuclear thermal rocket works by heating up the propellant in a nuclear reactor. The propellant flow takes heat away from the reactor and you can spot the radiators dimming when you are burning thrusters. A thermal rocket alone is not enough to provide the fuel economy you see in the game. Your thrusters use a hybrid nuclear electric process to achieve the required exhaust velocity. Nuclear liquid thorium fuel rods last for months or even years but provide only heat. Propellant is a separate substance that gets heated up and ejected at high pressure through thrusters. Most ships in the game use water. Mass drivers use superconducting electromagnets. Eddy currents heat the projectile up until it's glowing red, and tiny iron shreds torn up by rapid acceleration can be seen trapped in a residual magnetic field after discharge. Space is not actually cold. Temperature is a property of matter, and in vacuum of space, ship is perfectly isolated, and getting rid of heat is a major concern. Space isn't dark either. There is nothing between you and the sun, and it's always a sunny day. Liking and subscribing lets me know that you enjoy this kind of content, and I should make more. A laser beam is not visible in vacuum of space, the only time you can see it is when it passes through a cloud of dust. The propeller formations in the rings were discovered by Cassini Hugens' mission. They are caused by gravitational influence and different orbital velocities. The map of the game is based directly on the mission's discoveries and photographs it delivered. Our plume shapes are based on real-world variable-specific impulse magnetoplasma rocket tests. The area around Saturn is the most habitable space in our solar system. It's covered by a sparse cloud of water that absorbs all radiation. Sound doesn't travel through the vacuum of space. The only things you can hear in the game are happening on your ship. Your ship's computer has to relay on the same sensors you would use. If they malfunction, it will make bad decisions. The Enceladus Prime Station is a giant cylinder composed of three concentric rings. The innermost docking ring, the middle industrial ring, and outermost residential ring. Only the residential ring has Earth-like gravity. Did you enjoy these facts about the rings? If so, like and subscribe to let me know I should make more videos like this. If you want to know more, have questions or comments, please leave them down below. Although down doesn't really have meaning in space. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed that, and that I'll see you again in another video. Sir and Gravitas, Class 2 Artificial Narrator, Logging Off.